it wasn't expected. Hill to slap it forward, can't do so. Brazali goes off the deck. Hill. Out wide. Go to a one on one. Hill's done well there to get a hand inside 50 again. It was a dangerous kick from Peterson Hour to be chopped off, although Hill stands underneath this one. Interestingly, that strapping on top of without it. She's done well there to think her way through that. And Hill makes it over the top. It's a better. Because will arrive late. Does well, gets it to ground. Hill on tidy up. The competition for many years, and, and I feel like we're going to see the best of her going against the ground. They're small forwards like Scott and all that. Plenty of people perhaps fresh off of Father's Day brunch, enjoying the sunshine here at ETU this afternoon. Moody lost eyes on it. Chris Barkas with no impact there as Hill again just cuts the angles and charts a path forward for the bomb, the Blues. Advantage by the throw up there against Moody. Hill, handball to space. Chris Barkas to give her side the lead. Kick smothered by the body. But Vought just holds the angle of the kick but it got through everyone in the entire contest. Slapping. For McKay. And they've got numbers forward of the ball here, the Blues. Mimi Hill, last year's rising star, flips it over the second quarter. Four goals in a row now. On top in that area were the power in the second quarter. Ewing's. Again, I'm just so happy to be here. Well, thank you for your time, Cheyenne. Get out there and go and get the job done for the power. Well, first, let her take possession and then make sure that she stuck the tackle. Moody straight down to Hill. Kicks to half forward. McWilliams meets it, gives it back to Hill. Now over to... Off to Foley. They get the first inside 50. Not quite. Hill to Velado. Back to Hill. Kicks goal in the final turn. Margin back to two points. And they win it out of the middle again. Hill. Search and kick out. Might get to her on the full, but she'll get the free kick. And they can take the advantage here. Just need to think their way through it, the Blues. Vessio's found herself in a bit of space. Hammond had to come off her opponent. Has to work. She's got a kind bounce. She'll run onto this one. Gathered brilliantly. Down the line. Vessio in a one-on-one. -on -one. O'Day with a fist, but... Four to be one. Foley's been very good. Clock stops and minute 35 left. Hill's kick is pinpoint to McWilliams. Kay gets in there, beats her for the football, shovels it out to Hill. She finds her boot in the time. She's confronted, steps away from Hill, but handballed into... Goes back, wins it again. Now releases Hill, who does put it on the boot, gets it inside 50, and they find a mark. Get one handball out, and if you're facing forward, kick the footy, because at the moment... It'll be Carlton free kick for a hole. Reversed it. And it's Hill. Good. Hill, Peterson going to McKay and she'll link up with her partner in crime, Mimi Hill. Will be right on her range. So she wants to go quickly. Kick towards O'Day was nicely read by Miller. She to McKay, but her handball misses Hill. Got to come hard the other way. Kaufman, great contest, Mimi Hill and Megan Kaufman. That'll be an interesting contest, two of the best rucks going out. Paxman, the pressure is on. Off to. Up against Del Pos. Here's Macklin. Macken rather. Contest came from O'Day. Swept the hand pass to Dalpos, who'd already run past her, but able to reel it back in. Again going for territory. Bernardi read that well as Macken couldn't quite take the footy with her heel. Just a clear front of her. Just goes for distance on the boot. Numbers with the Blues on this occasion and Hill. It's scrapping Lampard did really well in the end. The numbers went out for Milford. Almost Hill goes back and wins it. Ham she was already playing as a back, but mm. she had played a lot of football as a forward at a mid. So a goal apiece for Staunton. Well, that's right. And that's right. And Cora really relies on her elite. Parker trying to bust her way through. Mowbray. Now Eva tries to pinpoint a target and can't. Sensational. Her scoring range, perhaps. She pops it up to a dangerous area for Carlton. Oh. Mimi Hill trips in front and takes the mark. If, um, they take that. Um, they've made her defend in the second half. In her head, you know, time and time again, but he's going to play the 50 moments that she had that were critical to putting her side in that position to win the game in the first place. See if she can shake it off tonight. She takes the mark in front of Priest. Wants to go inside. Mimi Hill's continued her run. It stays that way. And, of course, Keely Skepper getting the first carry on it, though. For Shearer, Hill comes into support. Good. Barely make it outside 50. McKay, the hand pass back to Hill. 
touched on Hannah Stewart pre-game. Was almost best on ground last week against Collingwood. But that one's been turned over. Hill to McAvoy. Hill. Moody just crunches that one in the ruck. Hill follows up and sends him inside 50. Bounce with the head of Hill. Fighting back for the footy now. She gets it off to Peterson. Darcy Vessio off half back is providing an excellent amount of support for Lalawifi. She hasn't had a little hand pass out to Dylan, couldn't control it. Hill, now we're good at those repeat entries inside 50, something they have made. Gotta hang on for five and a half more minutes. Yes. Breaks a couple, wonderful smother by Skepper. And a flying shot on goal from Mimi Hill. Has seen the Blues get on the board. Well, Harford will already be high-fiving himself. That move to Hill starting forward. The move was made to start Mimi Hill inside their forward half, and this is exactly why. Quick turnover. Mimi Hill, she's so good at winning the footy on her own, but this is the damage that she can do in front of goals now. So, because from up here, they're looking pretty flat now. Yeah, they are. The patterns and the execution in their forward half that need field early in this second quarter, and that is why we're seeing this ball live inside their forward half. So a totally different feel to the opening term. The Blues now looking to move it with a little bit of run. They have options on the outer wing. Hill continues to run. She might get it back here, Mimi Hill. And then loads up. A huge fly over the top by Cox. Bursting through is Hill. Over the top for Dalpos. Taps it down towards Hill. Egan swoops. What a brilliant mark, but the, the Tigers are running with a plus one in defence. So as soon as the Blues are winning the footy, they're looking up and all they're seeing is Richmond jumpers. Hill comes away with the footy. Over the Suns in their AFLW encounters to date. The lethal drip. Shift play for McAvoy. Jess Good so far certainly is. Hill will have a six. Red best by the defence. Well, they're under pressure now. Hill. Hand pass and now an opportunity for the Blues to transition and it's a chain. Running is Hill and might go the one-two with Moody. Does in fact keeps marching and pops a beautiful kick wide for O'Day. Trots off. Ugly kick off the boot. A free McKay who just bounces through the Aaron's tackle. Saad now under pressure. Hill sharp. Hills are liking her game tonight at Metricon too. Up to the task against Maya. Gets onto her left and spots up Hill. Take a breath. And look to clear the footy. Sharp, Aaron's couldn't grab it. Hill bundled the ball and sundry out of the way to get this kick forward. Can O'Day get involved? She does. Depending on results of the weekend, that might be what leads them into their first finals berth this season. Yeah, it's been a magnificent response. Suns by 20 as McKay goes wide for Hill. And McKay was repurposed to provide the shepherd, Hampson and in a night like tonight where it's slippery, wet conditions, you want to keep your feet and make sure you keep the ball in front of you. Far for the Blues to O'Day. This is a nice build-up from Carlton. Through the paint of 50 goes Hill. Looking for McAvoy, put the body on. To an absolute advantage. So margin back to seven. So again, the Dogs trying to generate that mark kick game of theirs, but they showed plenty of it. Hill shows Berry a clean pair of heels, goes looking for Pound, still listed off the ground, and now Ali Blackburn as well. Mel. They've still got time maybe for one more old. Skipper keeps it in motion for Hill. Keeps it alive.